How's everybody doing today? Today is our wrap up. It's part three of three in our how to get a listing series. And the last two we have are actually the most labor intense, but generally produce the best results. So the first one is you need to look at expired listings, both rentals and sales. A lot of times what happens is it was listed with a broker and that broker did a disservice to the owner and didn't properly represent it. Whether the price was too high and they didn't have the right conversations or they didn't take the right pictures or they didn't do the right marketing. There's a variety of reasons why listings don't rent you need to be there to be that support to help that owner finally get out of that deal whether it's a rental or a sale Two, absentee owners now this is going to require some subscription service like street easy or true Zillow I'm sorry street easy or Reonomy in order to dig up some data as to you know finding the owners and getting some more contact information them but you want to look for owners that don't actually live in New York. Why? Because then you know that their apartments are an investment. And then you can reach out and establish a relationship and begin to start laying those seeds. Well, you may not get the listing today, but that's future business. So if you do those two things coupled with the other four, and you could find a way to build all of these into your schedule for an hour a, a day, there is no question that you will start listing. I'd love to hear the results of you guys following these steps and please let me know. As always, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And as usual, if you have a suggestion for a future episode or series, please feel free to reach out to me. Have a wonderful day, everybody.